guys, look at you here in... Uh, it's my birthday. <gasps> Yay! What are you holding? It's your birthday gift. Thank you. It heats the food packed inside without any electricity needed. Wait, but why would we need that? We already have a stove. The stove broke. What? You don't remember? Remember? Stay in the lap. Look Stay at you. Up. Yes. Make me a sandwich. Coming right up, ma'am. Okay. Miku's gonna be so proud of me. Yoshi? Yoshi! What just happened? <gasps> you just got me cooed. Emma, can you what? Haha, I just mikud you. Uh, that is so funny, Miku. Except now we don't have a stove to cook with. Oh, oopsie. <sighs> Miku. You just got Miku. Wait. Why is this song so slack? You just got Miku. Yeah, you did. Wait, why are you singing? Emma, can you duck? You just got me cooed. OMG, Emma, humans have short attention you spans. Oh, so that wasn't a dream? <laughs> but speaking of dreams, Miku says to get this video to 180 likes for my birthday present, and she'll get rewarded with a new squeaky toy at the end of next video. Today we'll be trying the oh-so-famous self-heating hot pot by who? Heidi Lau. Yes, the most pop been Chinese hot pot restaurant in the world right now. This one's called Spicy Flavor Hot Pot with Vegetables. Mmm, delicious. And this one's called Tomato Flavor Hot Pot with Vegetables. Now, looking through the ingredients list, it seems as though this is vegetarian. We will first warm up our palate and our taste buds with the tomato flavor. Ooh, this is cute. It has a little Heidi Lao logo. Yeah! Smells like plastic. <laughs> okay, what is this one? Pickled vegetables number two, hot pot seasoning, tomato flavor, yeah. And then, where's number one and number three? <laughs> this is vermicelli. That's the noodle in the photo, it's vermicelli. It comes with a cutlery set. <laughs> oh, and this is the heating pack. Maintain room ventilation during cooking. Okay, great for camping. Okay, so step one, take out the white lunch box and put in the vermicelli vegetable bag and hot pot soup base. Oh, the vermicelli is only pea, mung bean, and water. P as in P-E-A. <laughs> Smells like nothing. Okay, in it goes. Next up, pickled vegetables. Ooh. Smells like, um, you know, like when you don't, <laughs> when you don't wash your water bottle for like a week, it smells like algae. <laughs> Plop it on in. Uh, why is there juice? And finally, we have our hot pot seasoning tomato flavor. Mmm, it smells like tomato soup concentrate. Let's plop it in. Oh, oh, that's all oil. Looks like tomato paste. Add drinking water to the max fill line. There's a max fill line, but it's in Chinese. Let's pour it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Step three, cold water to the max fill line of the black container. No hot water. Wonder what happens if you add hot water. Do we wanna try? No, we don't. We have to follow the rules as a, some, Good Samaritan that we are. Okay. It says, be away from fire. Are we away from, oh, what if I'm the fire? <laughs> ah, just kidding. They're so clever, you know? The high on high D Lao, I mean, the eye is a vent. Gently place it. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, okay. Oh my god, I'm scared. OMG, okay. Okay. I'm scared. Ooh. 
Is it gonna... Oh! We have to set the timer! Okay. Whoa! Wait! Do you hear that? What the hell? Yo! Whoa. I hope you could see the steam. Set aside. <laughs> Next stop! Oh, I'm so excited now. Spicy one, which is the one that the lady at the grocery store said was super spicy, which I was I was like, oh my god, yes, I love spicy. It's just like, oh, then you'll like this. By the way, this is not very eco-friendly of you, Heidi Lau. Place the vermicelli. The pickled veggies. Ooh. Now we're gonna put the hot pot seasoning. Oh, it smells very like star anise, like five spice, Chinese five spice. Just very like umami, it smells very umami. What do I do? I think it's best to put it outside. Maybe that's why this is meant for camping. <laughs> This is the culprit. I'm gonna place it outside. Okay, I guess I they did say it should be a well vent. Where was I? Before I was rudely interrupted by the carbon monoxide alarm, which actually, thankfully, I guess it works because I had no clue this contained carbon monoxide. Okay. Oh, 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 there's a, this whole, this whole pack is like all chili peppers, like dried chili peppers. Oh, okay, this looks really spicy. <laughs> this looks super spicy. Water. Put it up to the line. Add water to the max fill line. I wonder if you have like wet hands and you hold this. Probably not a good idea. Don't, my hands are dry. Ready? <laughs> okay, okay. Boop. Oh, I'm scared, please. Don't do it right now. Oh, oh, oh okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait for the gush and then I'll put it outside. I hear it trembling. Our tomato hot pot is ready. I'm scared. Woo! Woo! Do you see that steam? Oh, that's amazing. There's a lot of condensation on this. <gasps> no! No! Does that mean I'm eating carbon monoxide? If this whole thing is carbon monoxide. Is this safe to consume? Let's use our utensils as a chopstick. But they actually come with handles. You can't fit a chopstick in your purse? Well, now you can. With the all new Heidi Lau plastic chop. Camera. Oh yeah, got it. Wait, these are actually so good. These are like better than the ones in a restaurant. We also got napkins, spoon, a really tiny one. Toothpick. Okay, I'm gonna use a reusable, my reusable spoon. Obviously, we gotta counteract the plastic with some reusable, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> we got our vermicelli. Look at that. Oh, it's steaming still. All right, cheers. First bite's for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Mmm. Okay, the noodles are not that chewy. Let's try the lotus root. It should be crunchy. Mmm. Okay, let's try the wood ear mushroom. Nice and woody, nice and eerie. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, they nailed that texture. You know, usually canned stuff is like really mushy, right? Like canned beans. But this is like amazing. It's like crispy, like fresh. It tastes fresh. Oh, 
Okay, let's try the potato. Mm! Literally the best tasting potato. I mean, obviously not the best because I, I make a lot of good potato recipes, but the texture on this is amazing. This literally tastes like freshly boiled potatoes. Okay, I'm thirsty. I'm parched from all that carbon monoxide alarm. Let's try the soup. Oh. Mmm. Tastes like tomato hot pot soup. Like it's like, it's very tangy. Not salty at all, actually. This whole thing, not very salty, which I'm very happy about because I was afraid this would be super salty. Oh my God, this is the best thing in the world. This is better than a five-star restaurant. Okay, let's try the kelp. Okay. Mmm, bamboo shoot. Whoa, uh, the flavor is a bit weird. The bamboo flavor sort of tastes like algae. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so happy. Mmm, I love the soup. It's like hot and sour soup without the hot. The lady working at that grocery store, she was like, I bought like 10 of them when they're on sale and I give it to my 10 year old son to, to cook with. I mean, I don't know how safe it is for a kid to do this, but I think it's fine. It's like, Definitely need parent, parental supervision though. Okay, let's try the kelp one more time. That one was mushy. <laughs> All right, up next we have our spicy flavored hot pot. Ooh, whoa. Mmm, please no alarm. I will be very sad if there's an alarm. Look at all those, oh, it looks very spicy. There's a lot of chili flakes. My fave, ooh. There's a lot of oil compared to the tomato one. And like I said before, it has all the same ingredients as the tomato soup one. Ooh, it's steaming. This one's gonna be hot. You know, it smells like um spicy and numb hot pot. Oh. <coughs> First of all, it's very hot and it is quite spicy. Okay, let's try the lotus. Mmm, I still have like a flick of pepper in my tube. Bamboo shoot. Mmm, I can see they have Sichuan peppercorn, which is the spice that makes it numbing. Fennel seed and chili peppers. Very aromatic. Okay, let's try the kelp. Mmm, when I go to hot pot restaurants, I usually don't order spicy because they always put so much oil. Like, look how much oil. Some places they have like a cute teddy bear that's like a frozen piece of oil, red oil, and it's a teddy bear, and they put it in the hot pot and then it just slowly melts. Sort of morbid, but. <laughs> okay, let's try the patat, my favorite veggie. Mmm, Chinese spice is pretty spicy. Oh, definitely numbing. My tongue is feeling tingly. <laughs> like honestly, this is pretty authentic, spicy Chinese hot pot. The soup base is very accurate. The lotus root, the, ro the lotus root, the lotus is rude. The lotus root holds its, its te am I carbon monoxide poisoned? Just kidding. <laughs> and just for curiosity, let's check what's underneath this now that the steam is gone. Ooh, it's stuck to the thingy. Uh, on the look at you scale, the tomato one, I give it a nine out of 10. And for the spicy broth, a 7.5 out of 10. And overall for this Heidi Lau self-heating hot pot, an 8.5 out of 10. And now we all know that this self-heating hot pot excretes carbon monoxide into the air. And I'll see you guys next time.
fresh blueberries. Eat. That was yummy, right? And if you're still here, comment, you just got me cooed to confuse everyone.